I'm Michael Hinkson and I'm here to introduce you to my new book, Thunderdog, which is a book about teamwork, trust, and my guide dog and I surviving the terrorist attacks on 9-11. I have a question. What would you do tomorrow if you woke up and discovered that you were blind? You couldn't see anything around you. How would you shop? How would you work? How would you do anything that you normally would do? I suspect that most of you, because you have eyesight, would think that your life would be over. In fact, what Thunderdog is in part about is to tell you that just because a person is blind, it doesn't mean that we can't live, love, and do the same things that everyone else does. The handicap that I face is not that I do not have eyesight. The handicap I face comes from the attitude of people who think that blindness is the end of the world. Michael Hinkson uh, is a man whose character and faith were refined by the fires of September 11th. Uh, Michael was on the 78th floor of the World Trade Center with his guide dog, and it wasn't so much his escape from the tower itself, but what happened to him outside the tower that surprised me and uh, intrigued me. And uh, when I got the chance to work with him and to use my pen to help bring Thunderdog to life, uh, I was very excited. I love adventure stories, and Michael Hinkson's story is an amazing adventure, but it's also a powerful story of trust and teamwork. And I learned so much partnering with Mike on this book, and we trusted each other and worked together to, I hope, produce a story that will inspire you, encourage you, and challenge you to do things that you've never done before. This is a book about the human-animal bond and the trust and the faith that we have that helped me to live another day after terrorists attacked my building, the World Trade Center. I was on the 78th floor of Tower One. I got down the stairs, I got out of the building, and I was able to run away as Tower Two was collapsing less than 100 yards from where I was. I hope that you'll enjoy the book. I hope that you'll tell your friends about it and that you'll be inspired in the way that I'm inspired to tell the story and that you'll go away with a different attitude about how to deal with change in your own life and certainly a different attitude about how to view people who happen to be blind.